Okay, so apparently if uh, I make this coin go in that little hole, my dreams are gonna come true. So let's see. Oh! <laughs> hole in one! Dreams come true for Sammy G, baby! Oh, Jesus Christ. The cap just exploded and water went everywhere. <laughs> well, I was enjoying that water. But anyways, what is up guys or girls as someone pointed out to me that it's not just guys that watch my videos even though if I look at my analytics I forgot it's 2018 and everybody's included, so uh, what is up boys and girls? What about my dog, Sam? He loves to watch your videos, huh? Animal lives matter. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. So if you're a dog, you're a woman, you're a thing, you're a man, whatever. If you're watching these videos, that means you are definitely a part of the Panda Fam. So welcome to Vlog 160. It's been like almost a week since I've talked to you guys and uh, I don't even know what to start with. Like today, I had to get a new backpack because my other bag broke. So Danny, my little brother, if you're watching this, uh, thank you for the backpack, but it's in the trash now. So I got the, <coughs> a couple days ago I had a match and we did like a triple drop kick spot and someone landed on my ankle, had to ice my ankle after the match. So life's just been going great. Why are we still here? But for real, I also got myself a cool uh, Future Trunks action figure. Uh, super stoked about that. So right now I'm gonna show you guys one of the trips I took the other day. But before that, I've been staying in a bunch of different places. I stayed at the DDT Dojo, I've stayed at a bunch of different hotels, and I haven't really showed you guys at all where I've stayed. So right now, cue the music, and let's do a hotel review. That That's the hotel, guys. That's it. I love how tiny these things are. Um, but okay, where should I start? But I guess we'll start this story from the beginning. So, so the day starts at like 5-ish a.m. with my friend Miwa. It starts with her picking me up at like 5-ish a.m. I say 5-ish a.m. because like, your boy didn't wake up on time. Uh, when she was finally able to get me up, we went and jumped in a taxi, took the taxi to the Tokyo Railway Station, and then jumped in one of these bullet trains. How long are we on this train for? Eight hours. Four hours. Four hours. Forever later, we made it to Hiroshima. And we went to the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park. And this building that you're seeing right now was one of the only remaining buildings whenever the atomic bomb actually dropped. They actually call it the Atomic Bomb Dome because there's like a dome on top. I think... I think that what that translates to is uh Get your Sammy G merch at SammyGavara.com And I will say this, like for a place where that some crazy shit happened, this place was like pretty peaceful. I'm just realizing that's probably why they call it the Peace Memorial, Sam. Jesus. After that, we went and jumped in another taxi, jumped on another train. So we're jam-packed in here. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, squished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I get one of these little red hats? Here, let's switch hats. Yeah? I want, I want your red hat. No? Oh, okay. And then we actually jumped on a ferry and went to... Itsukushima? Itsukushima. Nailed it, I hope. Oh, these kids are going crazy. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you know, these kids are going crazy over here. <laughs> It's like super peaceful outside, but there's so many people out here. 
All right, here goes nothing. Hi, buddy. Oh, no, you cannot eat the paper. That's so cool. They just have all this deer just roaming around. This place is so cool. After all that, we went and got some food, and they sat your boy down in the most anime-looking seats that there is. <laughs> I got in trouble just now for not having my shoes off. Shoes off. Stay there. Oh, yo. All this food's gonna be gone in two seconds. Ooh, all done. I'm too old for this, man. Uh, it's a workout just trying to get out of your seat. But yeah, once we got done with that stuff, we had a little bit more time. We had a couple more hours of daylight. So, so we went and jumped in one of these ropeway cart, cart rides? Car, are they car rides or car rides? But whatever, we jumped in one of those and we went to Mount Missin. And guys, this part of the story, it's something that I do often, which is like kind of push the limits a little bit. We got up there at like 4.30 p.m. The last little car ride down on the ropeway was at 5.30. So when you take the car ride to where it stops, you still have to hike up a pretty good distance. And this little alarm started going off. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear this lady talking. Basically, we have one hour to try to get to the top and get all the way back over here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it. If we miss it, we'll have to walk down that right there is an example of something where I'm just so locked into an idea, I'm so hard-headed, where you can't really talk me out of not going at this point. I have it locked in my head that I want to get to the top, and so I, I don't care that I hear this uh, alarm going off where this lady is, where they're basically warning everybody, like, no matter where you are, you need to head back right now or you're going to miss the, the rope way down. I just ignored that. I was like, we can make it to the top and back in an hour. And we did, I was right, but if I was wrong, we would have to go and hike all the way down and it would have been dark by the time we were even halfway down. It took us a good 10, 15 minutes to get the ropeway all the way up and if we missed it going back down, we would have to then walk, hike all the way back down and that would have took maybe two hours, <laughs> three hours in the night time. Luckily though, I was right in the end and we got to make it and uh, we actually got a pretty cool time lapse of the sun going down with the shrine and uh, it looked pretty epic so I'll show that to you guys right now. Okay, but right now Focus, there we go. Okay, but right now we're gonna be heading to the show, so we gotta head out of this hotel. They're actually probably about to kick me out of here, but we're gonna head to the show. So I'll see you guys at the show. All right, so we just made it to the venue, and I think we're at the right place. Yeah, see, there's the poster for the show. I don't know if you guys caught that or not, but I am not on this poster. I'm not on this poster right here, so we need to take this off. Do we need a new poster over there? My face isn't on it. I guess we'll let it slide today. What? All right, so we're about to go and wrestle. Uh, we're the sixth match today. I'm in a tag team match. And uh, here's my partner for today. Say what's up. Yo, I'm putting other people. I don't know if they wanted to be in it or not. <laughs> okay, ho hopefully. That's hard. That's hard. Oh, damn. Yeah, I think he said he's an asshole. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sammy is the best. Oh, no, you the best. You the best. All right, let's go kill it. Let's go kill it.
alrighty, so my match is done and I'm about to end this vlog as well. As always, if you like this video, leave a big like. This week I'm gonna be going to Mount Fuji and I'm also, I'm also gonna go try to stay in one of these capsule rooms and I'm bringing you guys on the journey with me through all the shows here in Japan and all the adventures I get myself into. So hit the bell button so you always get notified when I post. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for spending a little bit of your time watching a little bit of my life. I'll see you guys in the next one in vlog 161.